guys, John at Surf Effects, and we're having a look at the new 2023 North Nova. Now, this is the wing I've been using lately, so I've been pretty happy with it. This is a six meter, I'm a pretty big guy, and I've been going out in kind of that 15 knots comfortably on the six meter. Now, this wing, they've got a few updates. So I had the previous one as well. The first thing, if you had the two next to each other, you'll see this one is a lot more dihedral. So there's more sweep to the wing, okay? Uh, and from the front, there's more V to it. Now it's all about stability and we're seeing this with most of the wings that are coming on the market is getting that stability so it doesn't rock back and forth off your handles and it doesn't rock back and forth if you're holding the front handle riding it downwind or even walking to the water it's not rocking around so they've done that by adding that v into it a few little things they've done they try to make it a bit more balanced from front and back hand and you've got a lot of room on these massive handles anyway to adjust but having the draft move a bit further forward and it gives this whole wing setup a little bit more lift and gets a little bit more of that top, uh, sorry, medium to low end lift, uh, while the top end is kind of maintained by having a bit of a flexible tip. So what I'm saying is that when the front of the wing is a little bit deeper, it just wants to pull it up. So it kind of, you know, takes a bit of weight off your feet and it gets you up and on the foil much quicker. So uh, me at, you know, 100 kilos, that's, uh, that's a handy thing to have. The top end on these has improved quite a bit. So they've got a flexible tip on them. So you can see there that how big that leading edge is and then it really kind of comes down narrow. So it'll the wing tips will deflect in really high winds. So it's just, it's nice because I've been out a few times where the wind has come up and you're not getting that really, the wing doesn't bag out. It bleeds the wind off the back edge, similar to like a windsurfing sail does on the top where the bleeds so the wind off the top edge. Now, they've gone quite light with these, so it's still a Dacron setup, but it's quite rigid. But they use a nice bladder material that's a bit lighter, same thing they do in the kites, they want the lightweight bladder. But they added reinforcing, so they've doubled up in some spots, like the wing tips and the, basically the corners, the middle bumper bit and, uh, and the ends of the uh, struts. So, it's, so far, you know, we've had, I've had no issues with mine at all, and we've sold quite a few, and I haven't had any repairs or anything. I haven't even had a guy stick his foil through one yet. Usually that's something that happens, they just roll over and you chuck your foil or it blows on the beach and you get a hold of it. It's been so far, touch wood, it's been pretty good. There is an option to get it even lighter because you can buy the handles in carbon and that's supposed to take a few grams off. Now, I don't know, I could probably get a few grams off me before I start getting the carbon handles, but the option is there if you want to go for the lightest setup possible. They do come with a wrist leech, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, it's nice to have brands incorporate that into a nice quality one. It's not super bungee or, or coily, so it doesn't really get wrapped around. It's uh, you know, a nylon coated kind of structure. It's uh, actually on here, so you have a look. So it's got a bit of stretch to it, but it's not the, uh, you know, the cheaper plastic glove setup. And it, you know, it's a rich setup. Not bad. The windows, they changed a little bit, just in the panel layout uh, and location. There's still a good, pretty good visibility, uh, and it's nice and easy to fold up. Now we'll have a little flip over and I'll show you a few other little things that they've done. Okay, turning it around wasn't the best idea, so it's not really going to sit here well. Um, they've improved the handle, the front handle, it's got a really nice knuckle guard on it and the handle itself is quite rigid, so you do get a bit more control of it. Uh, nothing that bugs me more than when it's a really floppy front handle and it just wants to shake around because you can't really control it. The whole tension of this is quite tight. You can see here just setting it up and it's just got this trailing edge tightness, which really helps in maintaining that foil and keeping the uh, lift generated to the front of the wing. And then while the wing tips flex off, it still keeps it tight through the whole, the whole wing. So it's really allows a lot more control in those really high wind situations. But, the important thing is to get that comfort and the lift on the lower wind setup. Uh, they've added bumpers across the top of the wing, around the edges, just little bits here and there, just on the on the major seams, so that when you are walking with it backwards and it's dragging a bit, you're getting a bit of protection there. Something that uh, you know is, is needed because we, when we see our second hand wings come back. I don't know what guys do with them. It's like they drag them down the highway, but uh, it's nice to have a little bit of bumper protection on there just to keep the wing looking better and, and, and lasting a bit longer.